I'm going to cover 10 creepy stories of hitchhiking. And these days it's, it's common knowledge that hitchhiking or picking up a hitchhiker can be very dangerous and risky practice. However, while it's heavily discouraged now, there was once a time that hitchhiking was quite common throughout America and all over the world, actually. Unfortunately, creepy tales like these are reasons people are now more aware of the dangers of hitchhiking. These stories wound up ending in tragic murders, mysterious disappearances, and even brushes with the supernatural. And coming in first, we have the Orange Sock Murders. It takes a very brazen killer to abduct and murder two separate women at two separate locations at two separate times on the same night. But that's exactly what happened in 1982 near the town of Breckenridge, Colorado. At the time, Breckenridge was known as a safe community, so hitchhiking was pretty much a daily occurrence for many of the residents. On the evening of January 6, 29-year-old Bobby Jo Ober Oberholzer phoned her husband, Jeff, and let him know that she was hanging out with some friends at a local pub and would get a ride home. Bobby never arrived. Jeff went searching for him the next morning and eventually found his wife's body in a remote field. Bobby had been shot to death. Curiously, an orange sock that did not belong to her was found nearby. Six months later, the body of another missing person, 21-year-old Annette K. Schnee, was discovered in a wooded area about 13 miles from where Bobby was found. Annette had been sexually assaulted and shot to death. She also happened to be wearing matching orange sock from Bobby's murder scene. It's believed that the same perpetrator had picked up Bobby and Annette at different points throughout the evening while there were, they were both hitchhiking and he murdered them. Annette's orange sock was likely left behind in the killer's vehicle and somehow fell out of the location. Bobby was murdered. Jeff Oberholtz was initially considered a suspect since his business card was found in Annette's wallet. However, this turned out to be an odd coincidence. Jeff had picked up Annette hitchhiking on a previous occasion and given her his card. Years later, Jeff was officially cleared as a suspect, but the orange sock murders remain unsolved to this day.